So this one actually picks up from an existing tutorial where um, I created a dependent list in the location view. So let me just run the application model to show you <coughs> how it behaves. Um, in the location we have countries and we have states and basically I showed how to create a dependent list between countries and states. So when you're looking at a location Um, if you choose a specific state, a specific country, then the list of states that you get here is specific for that country. Okay, so we got this, and I also showed how to use it on a JSF page. And um, what I'm going to show you now is how to use it in a query component. So let's get a new JSF page. Okay, and we're going to take the location view object and there's the named criteria over here and I'm just going to drag and drop it as a query component with a table like that. Right, so first I'm going to show you what happens if you'll just run it like that. So when the page come up the two fields are actually shown as lists um, but you can see here that we have all the states showing up here and it doesn't matter if we choose anything here this list is still going to show all the states and this is not what we want to do. We want to have this behavior of dependent list between the two uh, components here. And here's a little trick of how to get it to actually work. Go to the view object and edit the definition right? and choose the um, attribute, right? so you're in the attribute and look at the country attribute and look up one of the property which is called how to submit and you want to switch it to two, right? And then save it. And then you can rerun this page. So, so now when you look at the page, if you actually look here, it's the full list, but once you actually switch to one of the other countries, okay, you'll see the list actually changing to reflect this country, okay? So what actually happens is that once you select a value here, right? we automatically refresh how to submit and refresh this list and then you can do a search